When learning to cook, you need to understand the basic methods and principles of cookery. Those principles can then be applied to any dish from any country in the world. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the techniques, ingredients and equipment used by professional chefs globally. Understanding the methods of cookery, it's like understanding a universal culinary language. Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about salads. I love salads. They play such a versatile role on the menu. You can use them as an appetizer, an entree, a main course or even as a dessert. They're not as simple as we all think they are. There's a base, a body, the garnish and the dressing. The base could be potatoes or tomatoes or even salad greens. The body might be capsicums, onions, olives. The garnish could be nuts or croutons and the dressing could be a vinaigrette or even a mayonnaise. So to make mayonnaise, it's actually very simple. All you need is some egg yolks and then some white vinegar. You could use a champagne vinegar or you could use a balsamic vinegar if you wanted to, but the acid is really important to give it a nice flavour. The egg yolks are there to bind the oil together with the vinegar and that's what makes it nice and thick and creamy. Firstly, we start by whisking the egg yolk and the vinegar together and make sure they're very well combined. Add a little bit of seasoning, some salt and also some pepper. And that's a really important way of flavouring the mayonnaise. When you're adding the oil to the mayonnaise, you have to add it extremely slowly. If you add it too fast, it'll split. So start off with just a trickle. Slowly whisking the whole time and then add the oil very slowly, drop by drop in the very beginning. Now with the mayonnaise, you can also add some flavouring ingredients to the mayonnaise. You could add some Dijon mustard, even seeded mustard, some fresh herbs, or even some anchovy if you're making a Caesar dressing. Remember to keep adding the oil very slowly. At no time do you want to go fast, it will split. Now when making a mayonnaise, you could make it quite thick and that's really good for dipping chips in. But in this instance, we want it to just coat the leaves gently so they don't break. Okay, so I'm happy with that consistency there and that is what I would like for a salad. We can add some flavouring ingredients, a small amount of Dijon mustard, which is a nice mild mustard and not too overpowering. And if you like, you could add a squeeze of lemon, but today I'm just going to put in a small amount of chopped parsley and that'll give the mayonnaise a nice color as well. And there you have it, a beautiful mayonnaise dressing. It's that easy. The next dressing I want to show you is a standard French dressing, also known as a vinaigrette. To start, we just need a little bit of Dijon mustard, adds a beautiful flavor, some salt and some pepper, and that's really important for seasoning the dressing as well. To that, we add some vinegar. You could use white vinegar, champagne vinegar, balsamic vinegar. It depends on the flavour that you like. It also depends on the type of salad you're making. Whisk in the vinegar to the mustard and then slowly add the oil. This time you don't have to be worried about it splitting. It won't split. It just helps to make a nice creamy vinaigrette. Whenever you're making a dressing, you should use soft herbs, herbs like coriander and parsley. Some of the harder herbs like rosemary and thyme can be a bit too hard to chew through, so we try and leave those out of the dressings. A standard vinaigrette is made up of one part vinegar and three to four parts oil. Now it really depends on how strong your vinegar is as to whether you choose three or four parts. On standard though, three parts oil to one part vinegar. And there you have it. A vinaigrette, it's that easy. Okay, so now that I have two dressings to work with, I'm going to make my salad. Today, I'm going to use the vinaigrette. When making a salad, we have to look at a lot of things. The colour is really important. Lots of different colour, different textures on the tongue and also to the eye. So we've got some salad greens, got some iceberg lettuce, nice and crunchy, some red coral lettuce, adds a nice colour to the salad as well. And remember, this is a complex salad that we're making today. 
Some Spanish onion, again, beautiful flavour and also a bit of colour. Some red capsicum, nice and vibrant. Some orange and we've got the julienne of carrot. Some white in the mushroom. Now this is really important for that colour difference. Some wedges of tomato and a little bit of chopped parsley. When you dress the salad, it's really important that you don't overdress it. Too much dressing makes it really soggy and overpowering in flavour. Also, just dress it at the very last minute. When you toss the salad, make sure you toss it very gently and just scoop from the bottom to the top until the dressing has evenly coated all of the vegetables. And really, that's it, it's that simple. Now, if you're tossing a salad in a mayonnaise, that makes it a dense salad, such as a potato salad, or a pasta salad, or a rice salad. Choose your salad depending on the weather. Make it a heavy salad for winter time, and a nice light salad for summer time. I'll put this on the plate, enjoy it with some fish, and it's that easy. Remember, it's not what you cook, it's how you cook it.